folks in the house can do a top 10 westerns of 1960. Uh, my brother-in-law kind of threw it there and it's like, you know what, change it up a little bit. Why not do a top 10? Um, these are going to be not uh, more mainstream movies uh, for my top 10. Um, and to be honest, I, they, these would probably be my top 10. Uh, I'm not going to do honorable mentions because then that just throws things off. So these are going to be my top 10 1960 Westerns. There's some that, you know, you may want to be like, eh, not so much or whatever, but i um, going to have some spaghetti Westerns in there and then some uh, regular uh, movies, uh, some uh, blockbuster movies, I guess you want to say. Um, so, uh, and I'm not going to do, I guess my... It's going to be between Good, the Bad, and the Ugly and Once Upon a Time in the West uh, for a toss-up on best for me, I would say. Um, yeah, it would be be those two for the top. And then the others, uh, you can, I don't know, there'd be a couple that, you know, but uh, see how this goes and uh, start with, uh, I guess we'll start with the Spaghetti Westerns. So, um Sergio Leone. Um, there are other directors. I mean, there's tons of spaghetti westerns out there. Tons. Um, I've watched a few. And to be honest, uh, some of my movies in the past, I kind of wish I would have gone a little more in, into it um, in regards to it. And... Uh <laughs> Just get the music going a little bit. There's a good, uh, and I'll maybe throw it out there. There's a, um, I think it's the Danish Symphony does a good job with uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Maybe I'll shoot the link out for that. Uh, so uh, Sergio Leone, a uh, great director for Spaghetti Westerns, and basically came across Clint Eastwood for uh, the popular, the main ones. Uh, so it started off with Fistful of Dollars in 1964, for a few dollars more in 65, and then The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly in uh, 66. And uh, all three of them, basically the man with no name is kind of, but in, for a few dollars more, his name is given, if I remember right, in somewhat the beginning of the movie. Um, Kind of rotates some of the characters are in the movies. Uh, some of the actors rotate movies. Uh, Lee Van Cleef's in two. Um, one of the bad guys, he's in two of them. And uh, it's interesting on that. Uh, Eli Wallach, a uh, great actor for uh, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Um, little fact on him is he turned down the role that Frank Sinatra was given in... Um, from here to eternity. And I guess there's a little joke that Frank Sinatra basically always thanked Eli Wallach for that role. If I remember right, Frank Sinatra won an Oscar for it. Don't quote me on it or was nominated. Um, so yeah. Uh, so those were the uh, trilogy for Clint Eastwood. And then uh, Once Upon a Time in the West, 1968, Charles Bronson kind of takes the role. Um, this one, Henry Fonda plays the bad guy, and I'll try to see if I can find the link for that. Um, it's a pretty decent story on how uh, Henry Fonda kind of was trying to do like an acting thing on how to be a bad guy, and uh, kind of uh, Sergio Leone kind of had him, yeah, we don't just be yourself kind of thing, and uh, I don't remember the whole story. It's been a while since I watched it, but... Kind of interesting on how Henry Fonda is a bad guy uh, in the movie. Um, decent, uh, again, at the end of these movies, there's good showdowns. Um, and uh, musical scores are great. Um, so those are my spaghetti westerns. And then uh, next one is The Alamo, classic uh, John Wayne movie. And we're talking about the 1960 uh, version. Uh, Richard Whitmark's in this movie. Um, again, uh, one of those uh, epic movies uh, back then. And the uh, thing that's funny is I just saw this is, and I'll go to the next movie. 
uh, Eli Wallach was in uh, The Magnificent Seven, uh, 1960. So 1960, not a bad movie for uh, two westerns, The Alamo and um, Magnificent Seven. Um, both those movies are great to watch. Um, Magnificent Seven, Yul Brenner, Steve McQueen, um, great cast for that. There are some good scenes in there. Alamo, just a classic uh, battle at the end uh, with John Wayne as Davy Crockett. And, uh, it, decent movies again to watch. Um, another uh, John Wayne, I guess, go into some John Wayne movies. Uh, El Dorado, 1966, with Robert Mitchum. Um, decent story. Town Sheriff kind of crawls into a bottle and John Wayne comes and helps out his old friend. Um, so that one works. Uh, one that uh, I, I'm gonna, this would be the one that it, if I wa wanted to rotate out, I could, but uh, it's, it's a decent story. So I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, the Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, uh, 1962. Um, John Wayne, Jimmy Stewart, and uh, if you're looking for a kind of a surprise, it's got a story. There's a good story to it. Um, so uh, if you get a chance, that's another one. And then uh, True Grit, uh, 1969. Um, again, John Wayne movie. Yeah, I got a few John Wayne uh, <laughs> movies going on. Um, and again, the original. Um, I never saw the remake of True Grit. I did see the remake of The Alamo. Uh, the one thing about the remake of The Alamo, uh, the ending, uh, basically they kind of go on on what happened after The Alamo a little bit and that one. Uh, True Grit, the second one, I just don't, I couldn't tell you. I, I think it didn't do that well if I remember right. Uh, so the original with John Wayne, decent story. And then my last one, I like this one, uh, Shenandoah uh, with Jimmy Stewart, and the only thing is I forgot to write the year. I got all the other movies' years. I'm going to say 66, don't quote me, but that is going to be my uh, year for that movie. Um, the father basically goes after his son, um, who, I forget how it works. Um, I think he gets caught um, with the Confederacy, if I remember right. And uh, again, decent story. Um, all of these movies, mainstream, um, it would be a hard to go uh, on the other uh, with the you know non-popular movies. Um, and I'm drawing a blank on what I want to say there, but there are so many Westerns out there. Um, there's a few that I could you know mention, but this is gonna be my 10, uh, so. Uh, that is that, and I'll try to, I don't know, throw a couple, not movie links uh, for them, but uh, some, if I see some on and end stuff that I could throw together, uh, I'll do that. So that is my top 10 for 1960s Westerns. And uh, again, if anybody's seen them, um, Derek, he, he got to see Once Upon a Time in the West. Uh, for the most part, I think all these movies are pretty long. <laughs> for what I have. Um, they're uh, not short movies, if I recall. So um, I think they're two hours and more. Uh, <laughs> Once Upon a Time, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, Alamo, Magnificent Seven. Those definitely are uh, over, I think, two and a half hour movies. So that is it. And um, yeah, that is... Uh, where I have, and I appreciate everybody watching, and have a great day.